Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now politics is a full contact sport. It is not for the thin-skinned or the weak. And Democrats and Republicans have been hammering each other this primary season over everything. Hillary and Bernie have had their staffers do a lot of opposition research on each other and have talked about votes that they have cast and positions that they have taken years ago. The Republicans have simply called each other names. All sorts of names. And this is the usual rough and tumble of politics. It's not new. There's nothing unusual about it. But there is one candidate who seems to be having a problem with it, and that's Donald J. Trump. He seems to have incredibly thin skin. Now, he was the one who set the tone of this election. He began the name-calling and ad hominem attacks on the other candidates. But now that the other candidates are firing back, Trump is all upset. He's threatening to sue and even ran crying to the RNC demanding that they make the other candidates stop attacking him. And of course you'll all remember that Trump boycotted the Fox News debate because he got his feelings hurt by Megyn Kelly. See, Trump is a spoiled little rich kid. And he has that rich kid sense of entitlement. So he feels like he should get to talk shit about other people, but nobody should be able to talk shit about him. He accuses Ted Cruz of being a liar, which uh, he is, but gets all huffy and bombastic when his own lies are brought up. He attacks others, but can't handle it when he gets attacked or even just confronted. Even his reality show was set up so that everybody had to curry favor with him. He never competed with anyone on that show. He was in control and any apprentice who gave him any shit was quickly fired. As a former therapist, I can quite confidently make a diagnosis that Trump has a narcissistic, per narcissistic personality disorder. He blames others for his problems, is incapable of admitting a, admitting a mistake, he can't handle criticism, he wants to be the center of attention but can't handle it if the attention turns negative, and to put it quite bluntly, he is emotionally unfit for politics and would make a terrible leader. Thanks for listening.